Well, Embley Park is where she spent some of her life when she was a child, as well as at the home in, in Derbyshire. And then, um, so she moved here when she was quite a small child. Um, this is the parish church for Embley. So uh, we understand that she would have come with her parents and her sister up to St Margaret's regularly to attend worship. So that's the particular connection. She was also known in the village, um, the family were well known in the village, they gave money for the school to be built, Wellow Primary School, and we understand that, that Florence spent some time looking after people in the village, as often big families used to do, and that she spent a bit of time in the local school teaching as well. To the nation's surprise, I think, those who didn't know the family, there was an assumption that she would be buried in Westminster Abbey, and the family, um, at that stage, she was the last of that generation, and her parents had died, but it was recognised that she'd always wished to be buried here at St Margaret's with her parents. Parthenope, her sister, is, is buried in, in her, her husband's family village in Buckinghamshire, but uh, she is commemorated in our memorial here. So it means a lot to us that obviously she chose to be buried, have her remains buried here. We do have visitors from all over the world coming here and, uh, and you know obviously our local people are used to and they don't necessarily realise just how many people are coming because we're some way out from the village. But it's rare for me to come up here almost any time of the day and not meet somebody who's visiting either on their own or, or nursing students from around the world who come up here and um, yes it's a great privilege to be here. On the second Sunday of May, the Sunday nearest to her birthday, we always have a, a special commemoration service where we invite the Florence Nightingale nurses, the old um, the nurses who came from St Thomas's, and um, and the foundation and other student nurses to come, and uh, people who are come involved with the community come along. So we have a, a pretty full church on that Sunday. This um, this picture is quite a, a well-known one of, um, of Florence when she was elder older lady. She did spend quite a lot of time in bed, partly because she was genuinely an invalid from her time in the Crimea, although her health did actually improve in her later years. But it was quite clever. She spent time working in bed, and so it wasn't a place for rest at all. I don't think Florence rested much during her life, really. She wrote, she commissioned, she was involved with... Um, or, uh, hygiene committees and so many different things that people don't necessarily associate with her and so this was taken at South Street uh, I think when she was in her 80s she lived to be 90 um, and interestingly what isn't in the picture but we do know was there was this text this isn't the original. The original is stored in the church, but we have to keep it safely locked away, sadly. But um, this perhaps says quite a lot about Florence. This is, of course, the words of Christ um, on the Sea of Galilee. It is I be not afraid and it was quite wonderful to think that this that, uh, original that we have was actually seen by Florence many days um, in her life as she would have perhaps been uh, thinking about her faith and about the, the things that she did to help other people and uh, her life was founded on Christian values without a doubt.